Hello, hello, this is Max Frank. Welcome back to our Let's Play series of Yakuza. Um, last episode, we get ourselves into a management deal with this young lady over there. And now we're stuck and we need to, we, we ask for money for, from Nick, the eccentric guy. And now we need to make, uh, we need to click on the, on, on the management game of, of this, uh, that means that we might need to play a little bit and try to figure out how to turn this business into a profitable one. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. I hope you like it. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And uh, click the bell notification so you can see actually um, when I upload videos. Um, if you want me to stream live, just let me know in the comments as well. And uh, like the videos. I um, appreciate all your support and love actually to keep this channel up. Uh, and running so yeah management course one-on-one -on -one. I'm probably gonna play it differently and see how the game actually stretch the um, I don't know conditions of management whatever it is we're gonna go into the tutorial now so hang in there and I hope you like it I think it's about time we put Nixon's money to use and start rebuilding this company what do you think uh, yeah, sure. let's do it. Then without further ado, let's begin. They give us 5 million yen, so we need to figure out how we're going to turn this into um, a top 100 one. And I can see there, uh, we need to start maximizing the investment. So we need to review, go to properties and check the details okay so he's teaching us a little bit now properties allow you to buy and sell properties as well as improve those you own but right now I feel we should focus on assigning our employees as it turns out I'm not too sure about what will work best Assign employees. Okay, cool. We can upgrade, go to the market. Okay. Spec profit. Uh, what do we got here? Each property has the ability requirements that affect profit. If your products and services and reputations are not up to par, you may face difficulties in your business. Make sure you stay above, above the product, service and reputation requirements. Okay, got it. Uh, by switching around your assigned employees. So you... Everything on blue. And employees ready to go. Go to employees and check the details. We have five employees, but to be honest, the wages are paying out are in the best detriment. So laid off yep no problems so you termination thank you very much and you termination thank you very much
So we are in the red, so we are in profit already. Uh, all what's left is to see where the dice fall. Strength properties from the management, how you handle that is up to you. Let's get down to business. So, um, properties, upgrade. invest in servers always uh, nothing there nothing there we got a Open job for to business do. Changes in the ranks. Um, yeah, we need to start doing other things to go up. Hell yeah, we actually <coughs> made a profit. Amazing, we did it. At least we started. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right, to invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now, but we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. <laughs> Palmates was expanded, and do we continue doing this kind of thing? Or do we have to wait for another period? <sighs> Hell of a day. Man, we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes.
What's up? Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. Oh, no, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Go 你们再过来。这次可要准备好啊。放心了，相信我。Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. But, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. 
Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. Wait, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. No worries. I'll go. Ichiban, oh, yes. you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs>
Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, Honey Yamasan. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Yamasan, have you had any further contact with Anzai-san? No, none at all. Just an Anzai-san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide. To That's not far off. Thought I'd. We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back? They say playing as number four next season's a fool. There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the yo. Hey, please, no pushing. Hey, this. You all right, man? Honey, Amazon, we still have. Hey, aren't you gonna apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sheesh. Thank you. Stand here. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg, not because of your friend Anzai? Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry, I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Stars shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not gonna change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Must they gotta win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would've won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. But Anzai swears he did it on his own. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai is basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. The... Uh, in disguise? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Rare thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. <laughs> like I'm gonna say no after all that? Ah, thanks, Kasuga-san. Ah, here, let me give you this. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on off to Hamakaze Street. that sound? What now? Oh, he's hammering a straw doll to the persimmon tree. Ah! 
Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? None of your business. I'm casting a hex. Now scram! Yo, hold up, man. You stop that hex right now! Then why you gotta hurt the tree? <sighs> You'll never understand how I feel. I'm gonna cast the hex. On her. Her? Yes. On Hitomi. My classmate. You're putting a curse on your girlfriend. What the? I finally realized she never cared about me. I caught her kissing my senpai from the soccer team. Right here in front of this tree. For fuck's sake. Of all places for the shit to go down. So I'm casting a hex. Hammering this doll right into their special spot. No, wait. I know it really sucks for your girl to have betrayed you like that. She might have had a reason for doing what she did. Are you taking her side too? Huh? Nobody understands how I feel. Everybody always takes her side. No, that's not what I mean. Enough! I'll cast the hex on anyone who sides with that trait. And you're first, Shrubby! <laughs> それでは
Yo. Yo. Arigato. Oh. それじゃあ。
Simon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Well, Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh. And it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah? I guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> Hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. 
Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, look. It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Conical Chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay, then. Here goes. <coughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanoko chan. <laughs> That's another one done. That face is always so creepy. I wonder why. Huh. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. No way. No, really, I think I have. Yeah, we definitely know someone who looks like this. Oh, it's a dachi san Oh. Well, give me a break. I'm a little more put together than that. Actually, don't you think it looks a little too divine to be a dachi san Now that you mention it, yeah. Sorry, adachi san Guess it's not you at all. I'm about to lose it with you too. Evil sword, I need to show you what you got. Have fun with this. Hold on. Arigato na. Yo. 
Leave it to me. That's right. I need to find this manager now. And just right over there. Pressure health as well. Okay. Okay, the manager should be inside. Fabricated. <laughs> Yo. Oh? 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Watch this. Let's go with this. Yeah. around here not in this area so it's trading company I guess and that Have 
on with this. Let's go. Done. Look at me go. Now. Some level of characters. Show me what you got. Watch this. You want to go? Yo! Hey, you're that guy from before. Your manager admitted to everything. Huh? It'll be out to the public soon. Then you'll finally be able to put this all be- <sighs> No. That was still my fault. Why you gotta be so stuck? <sighs> sure, my manager may have given- <laughs> No matter what my manager said. If- <sighs> You don't understand. <sighs> Not after putting Hanayama out of the game like- <sighs> Hey, hey. Don't act like I'm down and out just yet. Huh? Hanayama. <laughs> Still stubborn as... Oh, my God. Hanayama. Hanayama. I'm bonsai. No! I gotta say this. I took away baseball from you. Even knowing... <sighs> like I just said, don't talk about me like I'm out for good. It's not over for me yet. You haven't taken anything from... <laughs> huh? I can't say this doesn't the fans will be sad if I don't. Oh my god. Whether you come back or not, that's up to you to decide. Either way, just keep this in mind. When I step back out on the field, it won't be the same game if you're not in it. <sighs> Hanayama. You're not gonna make it up to me by moping around, are you? <laughs> come on, Anzai, don't worry about it. Why don't we give it another crack? We'll climb back up together. Why? 
Why would you ever be willing to forgive someone like me? Well, that's what friends do, right? <laughs> Hanayama. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good thing there's no crime in baseball. <laughs> Man, that's another soup story, guys. Oh. Oh, can I hire him? That's interesting. Management. Interesting. Well, all down there is all cleared. And we need to start moving into this area now. Um, yeah, I'm going to stay around here for a bit. Let's, let's eat something here in the corner. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Who's hungry? Me. Me. Ah, <clears throat> tasty. Arigatou gozaimashita. That was a good meal. So that's it, my friends. Uh, we're going to conclude the episode here and we're going to continue probably tomorrow um, on whatever. We're going to start opening the map here, probably. Going there. A couple of uh, points here and here. And at the beginning, it's just opening the map and trying to figure out what's in there. Um, and start from there. So again, I hope you like it. If you do so, just let me know in the comments below what you want to see. If you want me to live stream or continue actually giving you uh, one hour episodes. And I'll see you in the next one. So cheers, thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.